name is Tim Ryan. I'm the owner of Atomic Boxing with my brother Tom, where we do a workout we call Fusion Kickboxing. Today what I'm going to show you is some movements on the bag, and we're also going to show some off the bag stuff for self-defense. Today I'm just going to show you one simple punch. It's called a back knuckle strike. Now a back knuckle strike comes from the back of the hand. That's where you're going to be striking. Now some people use what's called a hammer fist, but we traditionally like to use the back of the hand. And what this strike does is it makes your hand come out in a faster motion. So it's not going to be a straight punch, it's going to actually come at an angle. And the reason it comes at an angle and it makes it move faster because there's a whipping motion that comes with that. And so what's going to happen is you're going to get in a nice square box stance and you're going to be sideways to the bag. Now what you want to do is you have your elbow up. Now wherever my elbow points is where I'm going to hit. So if I point at someone's nose, I'm going to be able to hit them at the nose and I'm going to kind of come in and I want to lean into that punch so I can get a little bit more power. So I'm going to get power by leaning into the punch and I'm also going to get power by the speed of the punch. So it's going to come back and out. And if you're going to look at it by speed, it's just going to be punch like this, okay? And I'm going to whip it. It's going to be, you want to keep your shoulders kind of relaxed and you want to look at your opponent and you want to whip it. And again, you want to always exhale whenever you're doing a kick or a punch so that you're going to get a little bit more power out of that. If you're exercising at home and you've got a bag at home, some people have that, what we like to do at Atomic Boxing is work the upper and lower body. And what we do is we do like a squat in between that. So we're going to go up and then we're going to go down. So we're going to go up and down. And we're just going to keep doing that as a repetitive motion because the only way that you're going to be able to do a self-defense move or even a fighting technique is through repetition. So I can do it a little bit slower or I can do it faster. Okay. So that's my back knuckle strike. Now another thing when you're doing a back knuckle strike, instead of having my hand closed, you can actually have your hand open. And when you have your hand open, you have more of a contact area. If you don't have a bag at home, you can just practice with your hand closed like a back knuckle strike with the fist or open. The next part of this is I'm gonna show you how to do this on an opponent. Sometimes you're just walking down the street, you wanna be just prepared, and then someone's gonna grab you, one, two, pop. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, they don't usually look like a robber like this, but it would help if they did. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit them in the throat, then I'm gonna hit them in his junk, and then I'm gonna hit them right in the nose. Now hopefully if I hit them hard enough down there, it turns into, you know, chicken pop pie. But what's gonna happen, is you're gonna to have to react as fast as you can. So one more time, as I might in my own business, they're gonna come up and they're gonna be dangerous. So I wanna hit them in the throat, hit them in the groin, and then nose. one more time at speed, it's gonna look like this. One, two, three. Okay, and then you wanna get out of that. So that's our lesson for today. I hope you learned something. And if you have more questions or if you'd like to contact us, you can go to atomicboxing.com, download a free class, just check out the videos. Hope you learned something. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. Thank you.